Hey guys, one other D here. We're back for more Portrait of Ruin, and now I'm gonna bullet punch some more fuckers. Yeah, punk. I think you see, saw that coming. And we get Strength Boost. Boost Strength temporarily, and it is actually a pretty nice spell. I will have to sort of like demonstrate the usefulness of it by showing off how much Jonathan's strength goes up in. He'll probably start raping things with this attack. Yeah, show it off, Charlie. Awesome. Look at this, guys. Jonathan's, just t Jonathan's attack power is now still 15, apparently. Shit. Well, I'll demonstrate by killing a guy in like two seconds. Look at that. Holy shit. 23 damage twice in a row. That's quite a damn bit. We have those. They're very evil enemies. You don't want to fuck around with them. But since, but luckily for me, since I had a uh, nice accessory of uh, resisting curses, I didn't get affected by that little heart kiss of hers. Basically, if you get hit by those, you will get, be cursed and lose all your magic points. So keep that in mind. And if they grab you, <coughs> I think if they grab you, is a will also do uh, some damage in terms of uh, poisoning you or something. Maybe I'm thinking wrong, and we got these assholes. I would suggest hitting these guys with something long range based. Because they will light you up with their damn fucking guns. Keep that in mind. Of course, they're too busy reloading, so that's a problem for them. But they always, always would like to be in pair in groups, so keep that in mind. You're not gonna really sneak up on them, and asshole. You know what, just get your face down here so you can get stabbed three times and die for me. Yeah, fuck yeah. Alright, and the, this is the way to the next area, actually. I think I'm gonna kill these... Oh, good aim there. I'm, like, down here, and you're, like, shooting above my head. Good smart moves, that's all I gotta say. And we get... What? What's the name of that? Well, we'll find out in just a moment. Probably won't be able to pronounce it. And that's not a very good defensive boost. In fact, it drops it down a good number of points. Shit. So, a sequined dress. It would be good if unless you got the ruby corset, then I was just ignoring all those nice data, or those nice boosts that I might have. Because <laughs> apparently ruby corset is quite broken. And you're probably wondering, damn it, how the hell are you going to get that money in there? Well, there's an easy way to get it, actually. Um, it involves pretty much uh, turning into something small and getting in there. Unfortunately, I do not have that, that little ability yet. So, I wouldn't worry about it just yet. Something to consider in the future, though, for sure. Keep these guys' ass real quick. Damn skeleton gunmen in there. Horrible accuracy. Kick your ass real quick. Come here, come here. Yeah, punk. So yeah, so you're, uh, you just need to check out these towers real quick because this is where all the this is where the next painting lies actually. I'm gonna kill these guys when they make them for their presence annoying. God damn it! Now we got crossbows. Fuck you. Get that crossbow out of your damn hands, and we get crossbow outflanked. A ranged weapon that fires bolts. Well, duh. Okay, so let me just demonstrate how this weapon works. And I have a sneeze coming on, so just to warn you guys. Oh, wow, really? I thought he actually literally pulls out a gun and sh or gun like weapon and shoots it. That's kind of cool. So he's like, I'm badass, bam! Alright, so keep that. That's pretty much what that weapon looks like. It actually looks like a pretty convenient weapon, but I'm still sticking to my knives because I gotta. I got mastered that shit after all, and I haven't been really using it. I love how the freaking Lilith knows how to backdash, like... Oh, too bad, I'm sorry. Jonathan's not not interested. And now we have this wonderful room, and this is the room where the next area is. And I still think I need to kill some more hill guards, but at least I'm going to do this real quick. So I was just going back to the beginning of this area making some good use of this war stone and putting it on the map. And I think I'm also going to talk with our friend, Wind, real quick. So this thing went from side questing to actually progressing the storyline. Bible learned. How quaint. Pretty much the Bible is a interesting spe er, an interesting
using sub weapon, you literally will throw a book out and kill enemies with it. I'll show you, watch this. Oh my god, book on crack! And it's a very, it's a pretty much holy based weapon, and it's pretty good. I mean, I will demonstrate on an enemy that's very weak against it. Come on, Bible, kick some ass, Ray, kick some ass, yeah! So this game is very, is, I don't know, it just does a wonderful job of showing how the Bible kills people. It's like, throw it at them over and over again, they kind of crumple up dead. And I think I will save my game here. Especially when the de when the enemy that you're using is is demons, so keep that in mind. Demons hate Bibles. Awesome. All right, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show the actual way it should have gone before. Uh, because you, if you remember, there was this nice oh dick of a skeleton. Okay, axe armor. Didn't think you're gonna get a cheap shot on my ass now. This is where technically where you could have gone, guys. Right here. You could have gone up here, and you got some more hill guards up here, keep that in mind. <laughs> you just wail on his ass until he's dead. Too bad he didn't drop a nice weapon, dick. He hit this woman, and this is basically how you get the next, uh, how you complete the next side quest, or the last side quest. You get cursed by her, then you run back as quickly as possible, ignoring all enemies because this only lasts a limited amount of time, after all. And if you focus on enemies, you'll probably lose that. You'll probably run out of it. And fuck you! Oh god, fucking anti-air skeleton. Great, now I'm not gonna get back cursed. Dicks! Please, Jonathan, keep it, keep it, keep that curse going. Yeah, corruption complete. And I get Blessed Ring, which is pretty much the same as the Charmed necklace, so I didn't really need it. But the other skill that I got, uh, which is kind of important, actually, it, well, not really important, but it's helpful. Let's see how he use that damn thing again. Let's see. Whip skill 2. While jumping, use down and wide. Tag downward, di or diagonally downward. Oh, really? Oh, I'll be checking that shit out. That sounds pretty useful, after all. Too bad it takes a while, but that's pretty damn nice. Very another it's another good whip skill. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So you can basically tack downward at, and at an angle now, so that's that definitely increases the versatility of the whip. Definitely not definitely makes it probably one of the best weapons or make it one of the best weapon types later in the games. Alright, now that we got gotten done with all the side quests, and I think Wynn's going to be crying, considering that he doesn't have anything else to get me. Still getting things ready. Sorry, but you're going to have to wait a little while. Well, I'm sorry, Wynn. I'm sorry that you ran out of things to think, or things to do. But, no, so that's pretty much what happens when you do, when you are very diligent in completing all those side quests. He gets sad, he gets, puts on a sad face and says, fuck you, I'm getting things set up. Do something for damn change. <laughs> so keep that in mind. But now that we've gotten through all those side quests, we can now make progress and fuck you, Hillborn, you're such an ass. And the way to do that is to kill more enemies and make your way through this damn castle more. <clears throat> Which shouldn't be too hard. And this very well is the next way to get or where you need to go next. You could probably sequence break here. Though it is actually quite difficult, I, let me see if I can actually pull it off, let's see. Just, just have a thought here, I don't know if it'll actually work. Charlie, get your ass up here. No, it's not working. Wait. Nope, not getting up there. So basically what you need to do here is you need to push this big stone slab forward. So that way you can get a nice little platform here, and then you can just easily double jump up here, and... Wait, this was all that was up here? Nebula, this wasn't for an actual progression thing? Well, Nebula is actually a pretty good weapon. This is actually the best weapon to use against Fleetman. Look at this shit. 
Holy crap, it's a fucking long ass whip. And this whip's kinda special because it homes on the enemies. I will demonstrate. Look at this shit. Oh, of course it homed on the weird kind of way. See, look how it like tries to home on the enemies. Problem with problem with this whip is that you can't use whip skills with it. Not that you really need it, mainly because it kinda does its own kind of shit. Keep it so keep that in mind. And now we're in this area. <laughs> Is a, I think it might have a holy element to it. I'm not entirely sure, but it's a pretty good weapon, I would have to say. It's not the best weapon you'll get, but it's definitely the best whip, whip you'll have for a little while. I think I'm gonna get back to my freaking partisan, because it's a good ass weapon. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy, we got this ass. No. Yeah, keep your damn crossbow bolt. Kick your ass real quick. Suck on the Bible, bitch! Yeah, I didn't think that Bible was gonna kill you like that, did you? I think I'll get back to my knives now, because I still want to master those first. It's not like the absolute most important thing in the world, but it is very helpful. And then we have this random mimic placed up here, which does block... To a, er, which does block you from a different kind of weapon. Whip Knuckles, these are not very good. Because you already had the best punch here. I mean, it's the strongest punch you, you might get, but it's definitely not the best kind of punch. I will demonstrate somewhat. Let me see if we can get, utilize these damn things. This is what it kind of looks like if you do bother using it. Jonathan's arm starts to turn into putty and he starts stretching it out. The problem is, it's not very fast and it's not incredibly useful. So yeah, stick with bullet punch if you want to use your fist. No question, it is like one of the best weapons, or one of the better weapons in the game. And we have iron plate, which is kind of worthless now since I have a better plate on. But it would be very, it would be a huge defensive boost from copper plate. So uh, keep a lookout for that stuff. Stop being like us, Lilith. It's not that fun. Alright, so now that we killed Lilith for the 50th time, excuse me. Oh, backhanded me for fucking. Oh, damn it. So, yeah, if they bitch slapped you, they're going to actually poison you with that, so keep that in mind, damn it. And here's a way to uh, avoid the effects of poison, guys, if you ever need to. Basically, you just switch to your partner and have your partner do shit for you for a while. Which isn't a bad idea, and I love how tons of arms too can hit guys from below, yeah. And you wanna head up here to the right, save your game real quick, because we are actually going to the next area in the game, but before we may actually head into that set painting, we're gonna actually uh, try to find another secret spot, which is right up here. <clears throat> Very, it's not, it's, it's kind of a tricky spot to know of, but there is a good weapon up here. What is it? Nun's Robe. If I didn't have this one, this would be a good set of armor, actually. Unfortunately, look at what it does. It kind of... Well, it does have some defensive value, and it has the exact... It actually is a little bit less than this dress. It would provide some good protection. But for the moment, you just want to come up here for that Nun's Robe and the MP Max Up. Alright, now after we're done with all that stuff, we're gonna head into this next painting, and it looks creepy as hell. Well, next time guys, we'll head into this strange new painting and wonder what the fuck it's all about. So thanks for watching, have a great day, and adios.